Good day. My name is Ken Gracie, and today we're chatting with Zach. Um, Zach is a young person I met at the USA Science and Engineering Festival in Washington, D.C. this year. And um, he came by our booth. We were programming robots, and I had prepared these, these one-page handouts of different projects where we had schematics and some Blackley prop code. And students would just show up, sit down at a computer, and start building the circuits, and then fumble their way through things, because I didn't really give them too many instructions, so I didn't know what to expect. But they built the circuits and then would program. So one of the people that showed up is Zach. And um, <clears throat> Zach is younger than most people that use our products, and that definitely didn't stop him. He just jumped right in here and started building circuits and programming. In fact, I think I have a picture of him here. He made the, uh, the cover of USA Science and Engineering Festival's post-event wrap-up. So here he is building an ActivityBot 360. Actually, he's, he's programming the infrared remote control circuit right now. And he came back the next day and was the first person hanging out in the morning. So this is his YouTube channel. And um, his name is Zach Uak on YouTube. And you can go here and subscribe. He has a lot of subscribers and he talks about a lot of visual programming stuff and robotics and game development. So I would like to introduce you to Zach. Hey, Zach. Hello. <laughs> so before we started the recording, you were telling me just what you were doing this summer and you said you were doing what? Well, I've been playing outside with my friends a lot, going to the library, reading about in the library, I've been reading books about programming and and video game designers. Zach, what kind of school do you go to? Is it a private public school or what? Are you homeschooled? Oh, no, I go I go to a public school. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, do you have programming classes at your school? Yes, I do. There's only three of three elementary schools in Virginia that have programming in them. Uh, and my school is one of them, Moorfield Station Elementary. But honestly, I learned way more from home than at school. You know what's funny about that, and it's always true, you can learn more just doing things on your own. There's nothing stopping anybody from learning. If you're interested in something like you do, you go to YouTube, you find the resources, and then you become skilled at it, right? Yeah. You can just watch some tutorials and make up <laughs> your own, and then make up your own stuff. I'm telling you, it's a really interesting time to be a kid because you have access to things that just could not even have been envisioned when I was a kid. So when I was your age, um, my dad did a great job of giving my brother and I tools to make stuff. So we had soldering irons, we had a bandsaw, we had, you know, fireworks in our bedroom and we would, and balsa wood, and we'd make like airplanes and you know, any kind of contraption we wanted to. And that's what really got us into computers. But this was like 40 wow. plus years ago. That's and <laughs> oh, Yeah, my dad, well, we're a little different. In, in my in my dad's garage, we have like so much wood. And when my dad's always work, when my dad works there, I always come with him and start building stuff with him. That is really cool. That's what it's all about. So another question about your YouTube videos. Um, I'm just going to show a quick clip here of the beginning of one of your videos. Yay, I got a package. This is the day you received your activity bot. And uh, people oh. can go online and... Yeah, do you remember this? Yep, I remember it. Wait, I don't, I don't see any. I don't see the video, but yeah. I remember it. You'll see it when I put this video that we're making on YouTube. But here your sister grabs out of the box. She's giving you a hand. Um, but what I wanted to ask you too is, so you speak re Ukrainian and English, right? Yes. I was born in Ukraine though. And are you now, would you consider yourself fluent in both to the same level? Well... Yeah, I mean, I read as fast as in English and Ukrainian, cause, and my mom never lets me forget Ukrainian words and, <laughs> and reading. She That's... always she always practices with me, and I always do my homework involved with that stuff, and yeah, I, re I always read Ukrainian and U.S. in my homework, in my homework and, I have to, and I have to do a workbook. 
I was... And how about the switch from screen programming? So you you love making video games. You have some YouTube videos about making sprites and shapes and animals and moving them around. You've been doing this for a long time. How easy was it to switch from that screen programming to programming on physical hardware on a robot? Hardware. Not so hard since I, I've been programming in Scratch. I mean, when I got into block, when I got the hardware, and and by the way, uh, really thank you for the hardware. Thank You're welcome. You very much. Um, programming with it a lot, and so when I started doing the parallax uh, block uh, activity bot 360, it was pretty easy. It was very easy with the tutorial, with the great tutorials, and. Well, I mean, Scratch helped also with the block programming, though. But on the circuit yeah. building, you didn't. The circuit building, though, was totally new to you, and you you kind of learned. Did you learn just by doing it? Would you say again? Like, or did the pictures help you, for example? Because that was something new. Well, You're I working with electronic parts. You hadn't done that before. That's the first robot I got for programming. I mean, I mean, I got the Cosmo, but that one was actually with cir but yours was actually with circuits. So, I mean, I I just jumped right into programming. I I just learned by I just learned with the tutorials, and I just learned with the tutorials. So now I program with my dad a lot. So when things don't work the first time, what do you do? Well, I. At first, I go check the tutorials. If it's if I followed everything, if that still doesn't work, um, I mean I've had those little little uh, self problems when you're just not connected to the right thing, but uh, but when but actually it's pretty easy. Like uh, well when I when I get problems, I check the program if it's all good. Then I check my circuit if it's all connected the right way. Cause I mean I've watched some videos with the breadboard, so I, now I understand what, like how like how it works. So. And how about this question? So you were first building from um, the pictorials at the USA Science Engineering Festival. We had pictorials and schematics. Can you read a schematic yeah. now? Can I do it? Can you Wait, build can't. a circuit by a schematic, or do you still need the picture, or do you like to use both? I like using both, but usually, I mean, I usually use uh, the picture, but sometimes I do, I do do it by myself, like without any tutorials. Um, yeah, about your YouTube videos again, you, how much time do you spend? making those like per month it takes me about it takes me like about a week or so even when my dad's helping because like you know the editing takes a long time and yeah the editing it takes a pretty long time to get the backdrop ready and 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 all the talking and stuff and speaking maybe and once uh there was something with the with the microphone on the camera we forgot to we forgot to turn it on so we had to restart the whole video <laughs> so have you had the opportunity in class to to lead the class in the programming example has the teacher asked you to do that yet well, they don't ask me. I just usually uh, get the mistakes, and and I and and by the way, my best friend in my class, his name is Matthew. Me, we're pro, we're the most, we're both the best programmers in the class. So, so, uh, so everyone now knows that they all. When we start programming, everyone just starts coming up to us and asking questions. So yeah, we I do go up to the computer and show some uh some things. Yeah, that's well, cool. The teacher doesn't really ask me, but I just but like she lets us just come up and. So, are there any inventions that you can envision in the future? Oh, uh, I. I've been talking about that with my dad. I I first of all really want to make a, like a robot that cleans like the earth is so polluted by now. I would I would want to make a robot that cleans up the land 
and I, I do have a lot of stuff in my room, like Legos, books, and stuff. So I do. I, my room does get messy a lot. So I would also want a robot. To just, I would also want some, and I would also want maybe like maybe like a medicine that live for longer. Yeah, and all the robots should be eco friendly because. A lot of them are just bad for the earth. Um, I have a couple things. Zach, I'd like to thank you for, for chatting with us. And I'm going to send you a few things today. Um, the first is I have a gripper for your activity bot. Are you still there? A gripper kit? Yeah. This oh, is, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So this is, this is a pretty um, challenging build compared to what you've been doing but I think you're up for it. It has a lot of parts, and what you're going to do is you're going to assemble it on the front of your activity bot. And this will allow you to roam around and pick up stuff. You won't be able to clean up your room with it, but <laughs> you will be able to pick up like a ping pong ball or a felt tip pen or something like that. So I think you're gonna enjoy yeah, that. Well. And then another thing I'm gonna send you, we, we have not released yet, but this is the Badge WX, and this is a wirelessly programmable badge in Blockly Prop. And this is really fun because in this case, the circuits are all pre-built and there's a display on there. And uh, I almost hooked it up this morning, but I ran out of time because I'm on the West Coast, you're on the East Coast. But it has a big display where you can put your name and then you can wear it to events around your neck. And it has some very bright LEDs on it. They're so bright, I'm not even gonna turn them on because um, they're blinding. And this is programmed 100% in Blockly. And the other thing I'm gonna send you that's kinda of cool, um, I don't think you've worked with these yet. So I'll uh, enlarge my picture here on the video just for a moment. And okay, so these are um, WS2812 LEDs, also called NeoPixels. And I'm gonna send you this panel to play with and you can't, the colors are so bright that they're kind of drowning out the uh, display, but this is a whole rainbow of colors. And these are programmed entirely in Blockly, and you could just connect it up to your activity board and have fun. So I'm sending you this panel too. So I got some, some yeah. fun things coming your way. And that, could, that, that, that LED thing that you just showed, that could be a Christmas decoration. <laughs> Yeah. To close, do you want to tell people um, anything else about your YouTube channel? Well, I, 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 I mean, I, I get about two, two subscribers every day. Uh, I, I make my video. I make my videos one, uh, maybe one. I, my new videos come out about every week. Not always, though. Sometimes I don't have enough time for making them. But usually it's every week. So uh, I I'm also planning on a vi I'm planning on a video about um, what was I gonna plan? I think I, I forget what I'm planning, but. It, it's gonna be pretty nice. I think I think you're gonna like it. Uh, it it is in Scratch. I think yeah. And all right, thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye.